And we're back on Omega. But we're also done, so let's return to the Normandy. Um, I always get disoriented here. You can actually um, kill Samara and let Morinf join you. She will basically pose as Samara. And it seems that nobody on your crew realizes that, except for Kasumi, I think. Um, so during missions there's no difference between Samara and Morinth, because Morinth will basically act like Samara. But um, when you talk to Samara on... Or talk to Morinth on the Normandy, then she is different. And I think it's possible to pursue uh, romance with Morinth if you let her join the crew, but I think you can guess what the outcome of that is. You can also try and pursue a romance with Morinth, but um, she isn't interested. Unusually enough. And if you keep pushing, she will just be disappointed in you. Alright, that completes Samara's loyalty mission. Let's do another round of the ship. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Let's see if uh, Joker has anything to say about Samara's loyalty mission. I think he does for all of the non-DLC characters, so he probably will. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lithe and sexy and... Never mind. I think he also says that if you did pick Morinth, <laughs> since obviously he doesn't know that, so... I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. And, um... I got some research, so let's stop by the tech lab. Still no point in talking to Morden. Kind of a shame, because, well, Morden's funny. But we have to wait until we do his loyalty mission. We got a assault rifle damage upgrades. Kind of interesting that she had that in her apartment. That didn't unlock anything else. Oh, we got tech damage. Oh, I think I got that on Kasumi's mission and then completely forgot about it. Oh well, it's not as if it would have been useful here. Might have been useful on the... The other, uh... What do I need for the... Hard shields? One more damage protection upgrade. And that's just advanced training and retrain powers. Those of you who really paid attention during the beginning of the Let's Play, by the way, would have noticed that I did, in fact, um, do one playthrough where I chose Morinth over Samara, which was my uh, I need to know what all the renegade options are so I can talk about them in the Let's Play playthrough. The w reason you can see that is because Morinth's loyalty power, um, I think it's Dominate, showed up in the list of possible loyalty powers when I had to choose one at the beginning of the game. And you only get that if you ever picked Morinth. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. 
Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Yeah, I kind of want to live to see that too. We've already died once in this game. Let's keep it to that. Um, well, now that we've done this, and the reason I was still wearing this casual outfit was purely for this loyalty mission, because I think it's kind of nice to wear the more stylish outfit there, but for the regular things it's kind of overkill. Do we have any new armor stuff? I don't think so. We have no gauntlets. Maybe I should have bought one of them here. I'm not sure if, if any of the things we could buy here were gauntlets. Anyway, um, we can pick the new one uh, as a casual outfit now, whenever we want, but I'm going back to the uh, previous one I was wearing, which was this. Nothing else new here. No new fish. Space hamster. Still doing whatever it is he does. Well, let's go uh, to the crew deck and talk to Samara. Um, which is on... No, this is... Kasumi's side. Actually, doesn't this qualify as a lounge? At least the, the, the ship will have a lounge in the next game, so as far as, that <laughs> as, as far as that's concerned, they kept their word. I was just thinking about you. Tally is so cute. You're all she talks about in that sweet rainbows and butterflies kind of way. She loves you, Shepard. Be good to her. I intend to. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. She told you, or you just overheard that? Says the guy who listens in on every conversation on the game, but at least I'm not as uh, sneaky uh, about it as Kasumi seems to be. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. We've heard that before. She had two new lines. One related to my um, official romance initiation. And uh, the other related to Samara. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. But I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Yeah, I guess uh, killing your own daughter is not an easy thing to do, regardless of her crimes. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams, were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. Considering they live uh, upwards of a thousand years, that's uh, understandable. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. Yeah. Your other two uh, daughters, for example. But there are actually other Ardat Yakshi as well. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. 
It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. You know, for all the claims that purebloods are rare, we do seem to come across an awful lot of them. I thought Ardat Yachi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Yeah. Basically, it would lead to extinction. Not a very good destiny. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. You are welcome. I like helping people. In that regard, this is a very good game for me. I don't think... nope. Nothing's going on here. Pretty sure Miranda won't have anything new to say either. Which won't stop me from checking, as you well know by now. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. All right, um, let's head down, see what's going on in engineering. For example, with Tali. Maybe she's made a, some uh, progress in the research mentioned last time. Shepard, what can I do for you? She still acts startled when we come in. Maybe for a different reason now. Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? Tali, will you please stop being so insecure? It's actually mainly just a game which always gives you an opportunity to still break it off with someone and switch love interests if you really want to. But I don't. Strangely, the Paragon option is to uh, break it off, basically. Uh, basically, but... Uh, of course I'm still interested. I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine, to share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. You know, in some ways it is kind of weird that um, basically after you express interest in Tali, the next conversation you have is about the physical side of it. Which, you know, to me, at least, at this juncture, wouldn't really be the uh, most important thing. Especially considering the uh, health risks for Tali. It's perfectly possible to be with someone without um, necessarily having sex with them. Then again, I guess I can see why Tali would find that so important since she's never been able to do that with anyone before because of the risks and would therefore want to do it with Shepard, I suppose. To have that human uh, contact, skin-to-skin -skin raw contact, whatever you want to call it. Come to think of it, it's kind of like Rogue, isn't it? From the X-Men. I'm g uh, guessing... Fuck off! Yeah. 
This really didn't end well. Not the way I would have hoped. Is it even possible for Milchep to end on good terms with Jack um, if you're not romancing her? Well, I think if you're basically an ass to her the whole time, that actually, if you always use renegade options on her, you don't get to romance her that way, but I think she will kind of stay friendly with you. But for all the wrong reasons. As a paragon, the only other option I've ever managed besides this is basically accidentally flirting with her and then getting her stuck in the state where she basically tells you, if you want to talk to me, you have to go break up with Tali. Which isn't really much better than this. And as I said before, I do not believe that it will affect what uh, Jack will do further in this game and the next. Wait, I want to see if Zaid has something to say. Grunt. Still have to wait for his loyalty mission, of course. Back for more? Not really. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's where they send you. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Yeah, we've heard that before. Nothing to say about Samara? Well, um, actually, we got a note from Arya about the location of a smuggling depot. An Eclipse smuggling depot has been detected on the planet Deratar, far your system Hourglass Nebula. Cerberus would pay very good money for any cargo recovered from that site. So, let's go and... Uh, deal with that. Seems like a good thing to do next. Nothing new here. Um, there it is, the Hourglass Nebula. Okay, that's really helpful. Can't even see the thing. I'm supposed to mouse over. So who knows whether or not I had this system before on the list, because it was hidden. Let's just get these planets. And then go to Faryar. And secure that small cargo. I think this is kind of an annoying mission. If you want to get 100%, it's basically impossible. I think maybe if you have a cane and have enough ammo to fire it, it might be possible. Or there's a couple of uh, strategies exploiting glitches that might work. The planet Deratar in the fire system is a suspected eclipse smuggling site. Cerberus is interested in obtaining materials kept at this site. Operatives will be paid handsomely for intact crates retrieved from the site. Be aware that the eclipse would rather see the cargo destroyed than lose it to a rival organization. Payment will be made once the acquisition of undamaged crates is verified. I'm fairly sure I don't have enough ammo to fire the cane, so that idea is out. Because we used it on uh, Kasumi's loyalty mission, and then we used it on the Wrecked um, Merchant Trader, and we didn't really find that much heavy weapon ammo after that. Um, I think I might want to go for some heavy weapon and some long range. It doesn't really matter that much. 
We'll try. Still waiting for enough points to finish evolving Gef Shield Boost. I'm still waiting for their loyalty missions. The thing is, there are three Emir mechs here, and they will try to destroy the crates. They won't go after you. And actually getting their... And killing all three mechs before they destroy any of the crates? Almost impossible. But since the only difference that makes is money, not too concerned about it, to be honest. We've been spotted. It's about to go off. Okay, next. They've already destroyed five crates out of the twenty. And I don't think it's possible to get the attention of all oh, that didn't work. Of all three max before you destroy one of them. Now I'm out of heavy weapon ammo. Okay, well, 13 crits, not even that bad. Let's see if there's anything else uh, we can find here. Had to perform another full maintenance check. Sand keeps getting into our equipment. Increasing the frequency of systems checks. We have to be ready to shut this place down if someone spots us from orbit. Okay. Enemy ship spotted in orbit. IFF ID confirmed. Cerberus. Beginning farewell protocol. Engaging security systems. Destroy command received. Initiating cleanup routine. Routine initiated. Activating mech security. Mech security activated. Locking access to terminals. Locked. Farewell protocol, protocol complete. Means they sp saw us coming. Why didn't we use a self system? Would be nice if we could... Uh, Find some power cells here somewhere. The mechs go after you once you start shooting at them, but I think it's not possible to get the attention of all three of them at once. Your best bet to get all of them is, I think, to use the cane. If you're very quick about firing it, you can destroy all three mechs in a single shot. But I'm pretty sure I did not have enough ammo to fire it, considering I even managed to run out. At least we got some back now. The order I attack them is, I think, the best order. The, uh, it's based on how far each mech has to walk to get to the crates it's, um, it has to destroy. It's also the most obvious order, so anyway. Looks like that's it. But the only difference it makes is how much money you get at the end of the mission. So, really not worth worrying too much about. Well, we got another level. 13 of the 20 crates were saved. See, we got 3750 funding, which is fixed, but then 2400 credits found, so that's for the crates that survived. So I think the maximum there is also 3750. And that's it. 500 element zero.
very short assignment this. Got any neat Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yes, we do. Nice work on Daratar, from Server's Command. Nice work. We knew Eclipse was hiding valuable cargo on Daratar, but we couldn't land without fear of their mercs destroying the crates. We've wired the credits into your account. Damn glad to have you with us, Shepard. Not so sure I'm so happy about doing Server as a favor. Thank you from my daughter. From Diana. Commander Shepard. Arya Talok told me where to send this. Everybody in the galaxy knows our address, apparently. I'm Neff's mother, Diana. We talked when you came to investigate her death. Arya also told me that a dead Asari woman was found in one of the wealthy apartments. That she was the one who killed my daughter. Thank you. I don't know who brought you into my life, but thank you for avenging my daughter. My Neff deserved better than this. I couldn't give it to her, but you at least killed the bitch that took the, what little she had away. Gratefully, Diana. I'm not suddenly wondering if it's actually possible to go back and talk to her after dealing with Morinth. I've never tried that. Well, too late for that now. Let's uh, check the other planets here. I still have no need for scanning. But you know I want to mark them visited anyway. Where's the remainder? Remaining one inside the asteroid belt or something. I suppose. Oh, wait, no, it's just a regular planet. Some more systems here, let's check if they hold anything of interest, like Ploitari. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway. See if there's anything here. Anomaly detected. And there is. Believed to be a post-garden world, Xanafu has large deposits of calcium carbonate in its sedimentary rocks, indicating it may have once had plate tectonics and even plant life. Its swirling clouds of dust and snow may have occurred more recently and blocked the sun, creating a mass extinction event. Its surface gravity is comfortable and its temperature tolerable by most sapient species. Well, minus 16 Celsius on average, that doesn't sound all too uh, good, but not horrible either. Let's see what this is. Something on our sensors. Alliance sources request that all ships keep watch for signs of the missing freighter MSV Estevanico, lost one year ago in this sector. And that any data recovered that sheds light on the Estevanico's fate will be rewarded. Surface scans indicate the presence of a large shipwreck. Signature bears similarities to that of the Alliance merchant freighter MSV Estevanico. Structural integrity is critical. Life support is damaged, but capable of sustaining a skeleton crew. Recommend extreme caution. Let's uh, see what happened to the Estevanico. And this is a solo mission. No squad mates. And we get to uh, walk around on this precariously balanced wreck. It's already creaking and... It is likely that searching the wreckage would provide information about the Estevanico's final hours. Warning. Disturbing the wreck could cause it to become unbalanced and fall over the cliff's edge. So we'd better be careful then. Let's see what we can find. Lou 
loose tiles. Not sure where they are. But this is a dead end, so let's go the other way. See if we can find out anything. Um, okay. Let's not go that way. Looks like we can get down over this beam. It is not actually possible to fall here. So, you can't walk over the edge. So as far as that's concerned, you don't really need to worry. Still, let's do our best not to disturb this place too much. Wait, where the hell do we go from here? We can't get up here! Perhaps if we could bring that down, it could form a bridge for us. So much we're not disturbing the wreck, but anyway. And somebody left some refined iridium around here for some reason. And there's some more iridium over there, but it looks like things. Can we see where we need to go? Not really. But that way, I guess. Wait, oh there. Blinking red light. I guess there's something active over there. Let's see if we can get there. Well, not going that way. Hopefully if we climb up here, it will lead us to a way to get further forward. Based on the balance of this thing, I don't know if going further forward really is such a good idea. Come on. I need to climb this. I thought this was the way to go. Apparently not. Or apparently yes. What the hell? Can't go that way. Okay. It's apparently just really touchy. Let's try and get further forward. Problem is that doing that we get further and further away from the tipping point. From the center of gravity. And this ship um, looks like it's already not really liking us walking all around up here. Well, let's hope we can find what we're after before the whole thing plummets uh, down. I wish it would stop doing that. Doesn't look like there's a way down from there. Ah, there's another beam. Convenient that there's a path there. Couldn't the shell just pick us up again and drop us off there? Would have saved a lot of trouble. But no, I guess we have to do this the hard way. Oops. That nearly went wrong. It has opened up the way back here to some more refined iridium. Is 
anything up here? Is it a good idea to check that? Or are we all going to die horribly now? Let's just get what we want, some data, and run, I guess. Oh, that's what that platform is for. And there goes your ship. Vader retrieved. Escaped mission site. 7,500 credits, 2,000 iridium. 